Hi guys, welcome. Rachel here with the Cackling Moon. Sorry, I needed to say it. It's been a while. Um, so let me move over here on this side. I have my breakfast in the in the oven. I'm making like muffin bread because that's literally all I had. It all I could make. I had one egg left. I gotta go to the grocery store today. So, but I'm not gonna go super early. I'm just gonna make up my list, take my time and go later. Um, but I only had one egg. So I was like, well, hubby's going to come home any minute now. And I know he's going to be hungry. So I'm like, I'll just make the bread because it only calls for one egg and, um, he can eat some too. So <laughs> that's what we're having for breakfast. And then <clears throat> having a cup of coffee. So um, it's been a while, you guys. It's been a while since I did a video diary, so I thought I would just do a quick one um, since I'm not doing Vlogmas anymore. Um, I, and it's funny because yesterday I got comments from you guys. Some oh, There was a couple of you who were, who were saying that you're enjoying the Vlogmas, and then it's like I'm not doing them anymore. Um, so I apologize. I just I couldn't see myself... Um, I couldn't see myself keep continuing the Vlogmas stuff when I really wasn't doing much with my like day-to-day -day interactions. <laughs> I'm literally like, I'm, I'm a homebody kind of a person. And um, and as much as I love Christmas, like I'm decorated for Christmas, sort of. Um, Christmas isn't my favorite hol holiday and it's like not my most favorite time of the year. <clears throat> so I don't necessarily make plans and all of that. Um, so I was just like, you know what? I'm not gonna do Vlogmas. I'll just stick with my video diaries since most of my Vlogmas videos were kind of like the video diaries, like where I'm just like sitting here talking to you guys. So um, that is that. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys though my Christmas present. So I put it on my um, I put it on my Instagram yesterday. But basically, my hubby got me a third band. So let me just take it off and show you guys. So um, this is the Tiara, Tiara, a Tiara band. It's a layering band. And he got it for me to add to the wedding set that I have. <clears throat> so basically, um, I could wear it on its own if I wanted to. I could wear it with... I could wear it with like just the um, just the band like that. It just kind of adds a little prettiness to it. Um, or I could wear all three. I could wear it with just the engagement ring, which I still wear my engagement ring. Some of my friends who are married, um, I usually wear my band like that. Some of my friends who are married will just wear the wedding band. My mom would sometimes just wear her wedding band, but I, I, <laughs> I haven't gotten to that point yet. <laughs> so um, for me, I'm like, it took it took me eight years just to get married. Like I, I dated my husband. We we were together for eight years before we finally seven years, and then eight years we were <laughs> married. But we were together for a long time before he finally proposed. So it took him a while to finally do it. And so um, to me, I'm like, I waited that long for for the ring and I just want to enjoy it. So I still wear my engagement ring. Sometimes I just want to wear only the engagement ring because I just love it so much. Um, but he, so he got me the band, the tiara, tiara, tiara. I don't, I can't, I can't speak. He got me the tiara band and, um, and I, <laughs> he was going to buy it for me maybe like a couple years ago around the time when we um were starting a house hunt last year last year earlier last year and I told him no I don't want to do that because we had paid off our debt and stuff and so I was like no I don't want to add you know and it's not it's not that expensive really um and I was like no I don't want to add <clears throat> I don't want to add to the debt I'll you know maybe it, maybe another time and so then like like literally a couple days ago he goes, let's take your rings to go get cleaned because I have to go at least once a year to get them deep cleaned um, to keep like the, all of the, um, all the good stuff. Like, like basically I had them, I also had them resized. And so um, the resizing, I didn't, they didn't charge me for it because I've been keeping the upkeep with the rings. 
So we went and we, we took my rings to go get them cleaned. And then all of a sudden he's like, oh, can we look at the, um, the, tiara, the tiara band for the ring set? And I was like, okay. So he goes, well, come on, let's just go look at it. Let's just, let's just see if you still like it. Let's see if they even have it still. And so they had a bunch of different ones and they I had the one I originally wanted. So this, this is the one I originally wanted. I just think it looks pretty. I, I really liked, I like the way that it looks. And um, they had other bands that were really, really pretty, but I just like this one. And, um, and so then I tried it on and I was, you know, the lady was like, you know, did you want to get your rings resized? Because what happened was, um, I'm an, I'm a size eight on my rings, right? But when I, when I, when I was trying on my engagement ring and all of that, the guy ended up having my husband, we, they ordered me like a seven and, and a three quarters or something. Cause he says like he was watching how I was putting it on and off and it fits and stuff. So he didn't get me a true eight and it fit and everything. But if I have like early in the morning, like right now, my, my fingers tend to be a little bit chunkier than in the middle of the day. I have the skinniest hands. So <laughs> by midday, my ring would feel comfortable, but early in the morning, um, usually is when they're the tightest or if I have like a heavy salty, um, meal. And so it just was an uncomfortable and I told him my, the bands are chunky. Like the, the ring style that I have, the band is chunky. And so I was like, I think an eight would be much more comfortable. And definitely now that if I have, if I wear the third one, <laughs> I would have needed to, to upsize. So they resize it to a size eight and it feels, it fits perfect now. Um, and I'm just like so in love and I'm just, I'm just in love. So <clears throat> I'll probably be wearing all three and being super gaudy um, for a while. And then I'll probably just start fumbling with it and just wearing only the wedding band and the tiara or I don't know. We'll see. And then I was like, I was trying to figure out, do I want to wear it like how am I supposed to wear it? Like when it's when it's facing me, I want to be able to see it. Hi, Bo. Hello there. When it's facing me, I want to be able to to see it myself. So I have it where like when I'm looking at it, then it's layered on top. But if I were to show someone else, then obviously it's gonna look like it's upside down to them. So I guess I I'm just going based off how it looks on my hand. I was, I'm showing them my Christmas present. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, um, I have I have um, bread. I'm making blueberry bread All right. because we only had one egg, so I figured I'll just do that. Oh, it's okay. Want me to boil you some water? Hello there, interwebs. <laughs> he just got home from work. He's You had, what, 12-hour shift? Sure. I don't, know. Shift. I don't even know anymore. Can you turn off the timer? I don't even know what day it is. <laughs> do you want me to boil you some water for coffee? Oh. See? How you know I know. Oh, poor bubs. Do you want coffee? Uh, or you want to go shower? I shower. I'll pop over some coffee after. Okay, can you open it? Does it look um, kind of brown on top? <laughs> so uh, can you uh, just take it out of the oven for me, please? <laughs> so anyways, you guys, yeah, so that's that was my Christmas present, and I'm really happy, and I'm in love. It's a Christmas present, happy <laughs> anniversary, happy Oh, birthday. that's, yeah, that's true. It's, because um, I'm kind of like one of those people where it's like boom, boom, boom. So... Sorry, I had no makeup on today. Stop! Um, <laughs> Long, long night. So it's a Christmas present and then my birthday's in February, but our wedding anniversary is in March and um, it's going to be our five year anniversary. So five years, really? yeah, okay. married five years, but we've been together. We're going on 13 years. Fuck. <laughs> so we've been, I mean, stop. <laughs> so we've been together for quite a while. Um, so yeah, I was just kind of like to celebrate that. Huh? Can I trade you in? Trade me in if you want, but yeah. Uh... It's okay. I've got my cats. <laughs> Your cat? I don't think Starla wants to go with you. What? You know what? How about this? Put it down. Put... All right, check this out. Put it down. No, she's going to go with you anyway. Bye, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> right, Starla. Starla. Hey. She's shy right now. You smell like litter. Right? You were rolling around in the litter box again, stinky, stinky girl. Luna's in the closet. She's hiding in the closet. Why are you hiding? She was opening it. I saw her open it. She was like pushing her little paw. So Luna likes to push the paw her with her paw, Darla. the closet door, and she opens it just enough so that she could fit through. And she go, goes in there and she likes to hide under the shelves. 
to, so I think it's so she can get away from this one. <laughs> and you've been keeping your collar on, stars. Very good. Good girl. Did you poke it with a fork to see if it, okay, perfect. Yeah, go, go shower or whatever and we can eat. Sure. Do you want me to, so do you want me to boil you some water? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> For some coffee. Put this in here. I'm always putting my tissues in my bra and then sometimes I forget about it and it like pops up. <laughs> but it's like I don't have anywhere else to put my tissues so I just throw them in my bra. I've always done that. Mm -mm. No. Starla, you don't touch that. So me, girl. All right, let's, let me boil some water for hubs. a nice um it was a good day yesterday i um i knew my ring was gonna be ready and so <laughs> i was hoping that it would be ready earlier so i could have worn it to work but i had to wait all night to get home from work to get my ring so yeah so i'm a happy girl i'm a happy girl today um what else you guys other than that i don't think i have any other updates for you guys I'm so excited though. I am so excited for January. Um, January, let me, let me blow my nose for one second off camera. Let me put this over here. <laughs> You're dumb. Okay, sorry. Um, so I'm really excited for January, you guys. I'm like literally... I have a schedule planned out, so I planned out my seven day, what my seven day week will tentatively look like. I have certain days that I'm gonna be doing client readings. I have days where I'm gonna blog. I have days where I'll be filming only YouTube videos. And then of course I give myself the weekend off. So I'm giving myself like Saturday, Sunday off, but that'll probably be like, it'll, I'll, I'll probably have to go week by week based on hubby's schedule because, um, Obviously, I want to have a day off, give myself a day off when he's off so that we can spend time together. So it's just going to depend on what the schedule looks like. But I'm excited because my turnaround days, like the delivery days of my readings are going to be shortened. Right now, it, it could be anywhere from like the day after to a, like seven, like a whole week. <laughs> depending on when you book the reading because I'm right now I'm only filming readings between February from Friday and Mondays and even then sometimes I don't get to all of them or you know I want to have a day off for myself otherwise I'm working seven days a week so it's just it's been it's been hard to kind of like squeeze everything in with the day job schedule but once the day job is done it's like I have all week to do anything I need to do <laughs> And I'm gonna try to be as like productive as I can. I wanna make sure that I'm like, I wanna, I really, really wanna utilize my blog on cacklingmoon.com. Um, so I wanna try to blog at least once a week um, or twice a month if that. And I want to create, I have like an online course that I wanna create. I have some new services that I wanna bring back like doing FaceTime readings. Um, I would love to do in-person readings for people who are local, but I haven't really touched on like the local part just yet. I've really kind of been hush hush about that part because um, I don't know how comfortable I am with opening, you know, opening my home to having people come in and do a reading. So that might not happen just yet, but, um, but certainly the FaceTime or Skype readings or the Instagram readings, like stuff like that, will be coming back because I'll have the time to do it. <laughs> Some of you were inquiring, like how come you don't do your FaceTime readings anymore? And really the main reason was because I had to be able to schedule with what works for me, but also what would work for the client. And a lot of times it was really hard to do that because you know we all have different schedules. And then it's like I had to put into consideration like, 
my hubby and his schedule and is he home at that time or were we having family over because a lot of times throughout the the last few months um i was having his 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 parents would come over and visit like almost every it was like almost every saturday um because they wouldn't get to see him when he was in the academy so when he while he was in the academy like when he would be home on the weekends they would come over and it was just too hard for me to kind of try to squeeze doing readings doing facetime readings at the same time like wanting time to spend with my husband when he was home and then also having like my in-laws here so <laughs> the whole facetime readings like went out the window probably like i would say early early on this year like i really i only did one i, I was only doing facetime readings with one client um because she's i've she's been with me for years um, but it's been a while since I've read for her. So it's, 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 it was only like two or three times I want to say <clears throat> that I read for her, but I do plan on bringing those back. So for those of you guys who prefer a face to face live reading, those will be available. Um, I just have to work out like I'm going to have specific days that I'll do them. And it's just kind of like, I need to make sure I mold it more for what is convenient for me and less what is convenient for the client because technically it has to be convenient for me otherwise I'm not going to want to do the reading so <laughs> I need to like get into that mode of thinking I'm really excited to run to start running Cackley Moon full time you guys I have so many ideas and so many plans let me get the water hang on it's boiling boiling Bubs. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I just want to get this coffee for him so he has something to, to drink. Yeah, I'll turn off right now. So you guys, I just, I'm excited. I have a lot of plans for TCM. Literally have three weeks left of work. And, and within those three weeks, it's just, it's going to be literally like, um, within those three weeks, it's going to be a couple days here and there because the way the library is, we're closed certain days for the holiday, so and, and and we're closed automatically on Fridays, and it's just the next three weeks are going to fly by. Um, so I'm excited, and I just can't wait, and I look forward to working out of home. And I've already, you know, asked you guys for advice because I know a lot of you work out of home or your stay-at-home mommies or your stay-at-home housewives. And so I was just asking a lot of you guys for advice and tips because I've never done this. Um, and I've always worked, I've always had a job since I was 15 years old. So I've always had a steady paycheck coming in every two weeks. And to not have that is going to be an adjustment, but at the same time, I'm excited because I'm gonna finally be able to do what I love to do and just be more creative and work out of the comfort of my own home and not have to deal with a boss anymore and stuff. So I'm excited, I'm really excited and I just can't wait to see what's gonna happen and what's gonna take place. But anyways, I'm gonna head out so hubby can come and eat and we can talk because I haven't seen him in, in like a day. <laughs> and then um, this way he could go to sleep and I plan on, I plan on filming a discussion on the 78 degrees of wisdom. I took some notes on the first chapter. I just have a couple pages left to read of the first chapter that we're reading this week. So um, once I complete that, then um, I could get into talking about that. And then Monday we'll be I'll be posting the next batch of what we're going to be reading. Um, 
Oh, he's gonna, he's taking a shower, okay. So the next batch of what we're gonna be reading. So there was been, there's been a lot, there was like a lot of things that I read this time around. Cause I read this book in 2012, you guys. So, okay, he's showering. I just wanna make sure he's showering. Bubs, yeah, he's showering. Um, His coffee's gonna get cold. Oh well, I'll have to mac microwave it. <laughs> um, so I have like five minutes to talk. Um. Reading this book in 2012 when I had zero knowledge of tarot and then reading it again now when I've had, you know, a few years on reading, um, I can definitely appreciate it in a different mindset. So I'm really excited to see what else comes through, but I've already had some like amazing aha moments with just the, the first two cards that I read about, which is the fool and the magician. So I still have to read, um, the high priestess is next and then... I think we end at the emperor. So I have a few more pages left to go to go through and then I'll film my video talking about it. Um, so I hope some of you guys are still following, like you're following along and you've been reading and whatnot, but um, if not, it's okay. I'm doing this for me. Um, but yeah, so doing the book club is a fun thing. We'll be done, we'll be done with the book. We'll be done with all 78 cards by the end of January. So that's cool. Um, what else, what else could I update you guys on? I have a, I'm going to my hubby's Christmas party for his work next Saturday, the 21st. I'm nervous about it. <laughs> I'm nervous, but I'm excited. I'm nervous because I'm going to be meeting all of his, like, you know, buddies, all of his officer buddies and their wives. I'm nervous because um, I'm a nerdy wife. I'm a nerdy wife and I mean, it is what it is. So I told him, I'm like, I hope that they, hopefully they don't tease you because you have a nerdy, nerdy wife. Um, but I'm like, I think it'll be good. Like, I think it'll be good. <laughs> I told him, I go, I won't talk about tarot. I won't talk about any of that stuff, but I go, I'll try to be as normal as I can. But yeah, so that's gonna be fun. The Christmas party will be fun. I'm hoping we'll we'll win something with the raffles that they do. Supposedly they do a lot of raffles, so hopefully we'll win something or whatever. I don't know. We had to book a, a room because it's like literally on the state line of California and Nevada. It's on the way to Vegas. I thought it was in Vegas, but it's not. It's it's Vegas is like an hour away from it, but it's still pretty far. It's like two hours away from us right now. So I'm like why like why <laughs> why is it so far away so we booked a room and we're gonna stay the night and then drive back home really early before vegas traffic starts and then um because he works the night after so that's gonna be fun for him <laughs> so it'll be a fun little adventure for 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 us um and then Christmas, like Christmas is going to creep up before you know it. Like I, and we, and we have, I think we're going to his brother's house for Christmas Eve. We, we usually celebrate Christmas Eve. We don't do Christmas day, <laughs> which works out because he has to work Christmas night. So, um, Christmas Eve, we're going to drive down the hill and go to his brother's house and just enjoy time with the family. And his mom makes her bomb ass tamales so just eat tamales and mingle and then I told him I don't want to stay I don't want to stay till midnight because usually like his family likes to do the whole like wait till midnight and then open gifts and I'm just like I don't want to do that because we have to drive back home back up and the cats and it's cold and I'm like no I don't want to do that <laughs> and he doesn't either so he's like no we'll, we'll we'll go early and then we'll leave you know by like eight seven or eight so I'm like, I'm down. <laughs> and then his mom usually like packs us like big ass bags full of tamales. So we have like tamales to eat through to like New Year's. And I'm like, fuck yeah. Like I love her cooking. Her cooking is so good. And it was funny because um, I think this was, I think it was Tuesday. Um, I went to her house after work and my hubby was, he went, he went with me down the hill because he was off. So he was hanging out with his mom all day. And when I got off work, um, 
I went to the house, um, I went to her house and she made dinner for us and she made, <laughs> she made her beans and she made papas con chile and then she made beans and her and rice and like I live for her beans and rice and she knows it so. <laughs> and I had told her too, I was like, it's been months since I've had your cooking and I'm so ready for it. <laughs> So it's the, it's literally like the little things that make me excited and happy. <laughs> so I just devoured her food. I freaking love it. Um, I I literally like when I met my husband, I I put on weight because I I always tell him like I put on weight when I met you because of your mom's food. Like him and I, I would have already eaten dinner at my mom's house, and then when he would pick me up and we would hang out. We would always end up going to his house and then his mom always had food like she's his mom is that typical mexican mama that always has food cooking on the stove she always is like ready to serve you to eat and it's like you don't say no because you want to be respectful and so <laughs> and i was always more than willing to eat her food because it's so good like i love my mom and my mom's cooking is good but my mom's cooking is basic like mine um and his and his mom's cooking is authentic Mexican mama cooking and it is so much it's like heaven in your mouth when you eat it like you feel the love <laughs> and so um I never I didn't grow up with like homemade you know uh, like like beans like my, I grew up with my mom opening a can of beans like that's how we would eat our beans um but his mom makes her own beans and then her she makes her rice differently and she makes like um all of these Mexican dishes that I can't pronounce and they're so delicious and so I really like, <laughs> I really developed a flavor for her food, a taste for her food. And so when we were dating, like I started to learn not to eat dinner at my mom's and I would be hungry because when we would go to his mom's, I would always eat. So, <laughs> so I finally like caught on, you know, but for, for the first few weeks, like I would eat dinner at my mom's and then he would pick me up, we would go to his mom's and then I would eat again and it was just like, just it was just amazing so I always tell him like yeah I put on weight since we've been together like from the very beginning but most of that is your mom's fault <laughs> and it was worth it because her cooking is so good <laughs> there's just something about people who cook and they, they she, like she loves to cook that's her thing and she like has like these like she calls them her little science experiments where she's like testing things out and it's just you could tell when someone just loves the cooking and when they love what they do and they put so much love into their their food you could just taste it and so i've since tried to make like the rice the way she does it or try to make the beans the way she cooks but i just can't <laughs> it doesn't taste the same so um yeah and and it just is so delicious so anyways i'm looking forward to christmas because we have her homemade tamales freaking oh my god and she like does these sweet ones oh my god oh my god and she makes these green chili ones which are like they're super spicy and they always give me heartburn but I just I have to have at least one because they're so good like they're the, of course my favorite ones are always the spicy ones so and then New Year's she makes her big pot of pozole and it's the red sauce the red the red one the red pozole and it's so good like she has like this huge pot, like this big ass pot. And it's just like this huge big old spoon. And she's like stirring it up like she looks like a little bruja and stirring up her pozole. And um, oh my God. And I think I probably eat like four bowls of her pozole throughout the whole night. Not like in one sitting, but like <laughs> throughout the whole night. Cause like, again, we would go to her house for New Year's Eve and we would be there early in the day, have pozole for lunch, and then we'd have another bowl for dinner. And then like, usually it's like, okay, I want another bowl just, just to have it. And by that time, it's like, you're peeing every five minutes because you're eating all this soupy stuff. And um, it's just so freaking delicious. And um, and then she also would make like champurado and she'll, she would make like, um, she sometimes she'll make like little bread thingies, like her, her um, what does she call them? Empanadas? Empanadas, I think. And they have like, it's like a sweet bread thing that she makes. Oh my God. So I just live for the end of the year at his mom's. And so I'm so ready and I'm so excited to eat. And I'm so, I'm so ready to gain like five pounds because of her food. <laughs> so 
anyways, you guys, I'm going to go. I just heard hubby. He got out of the shower. So I'm going to go and I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you for tuning in to another video diary. I love you. I miss you. And I will talk to you guys later.